When you look at the book of Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 1, the Bible says God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners, speak in time past to our fathers by the prophets, as in these last days spoken to us by his son. You see, these last days, the major mode of God's communication to us is by the word of God. Because Jesus is the word. The Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 1 that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Verse 14 says, and the word became flesh. So Jesus is the word and God's mode of communicating with us in these last days is by the written word of God, the Bible. Prophecies are good. They are very important. They are part of God's word. But God wants the people of the New Testament to base their lives more on the word of God than on prophecies because many times prophecies can be wrong, prophecies can be inaccurate. Some prophecies are spoken from the mind of men, not the mind of God. And that is why God wants us in this New Testament, in these last days, to base our lives more on the word of God because that is more reliable. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. This is the daily broadcast that the Lord, you know, inspired me to send to you on a daily basis. And I've been doing this for more than five years without fail. And this word comes to you with the intention to strengthen you, to help you, to motivate you, and to inspire you. And I pray that this morning, the hand of God will rest upon your life to lift you up and to make you to stand so that tall high above any problem that may face your life. The problem is not the issue because problems are stepping stones to progress. Problems are the means of promotion. And so any problem that stands in your way will bow down to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This morning, I just want to speak to you about how to handle prophecies. You see, in the Bible, the Bible says that King Ezekiah was sick in the book of Isaiah chapter 38. And God sent Isaiah, God himself, sent prophet Isaiah to Ezekiah. He said, go and tell Ezekiah, prepare your house, you will die of this sickness. And Ezekiah turned to the wall and began to pray. He said, God, I'm not ready to die. The Bible says he prayed so fervently that God heard him. And as, he, as prophet Isaiah was walking out of the king's court, the Spirit of God came to prophet Isaiah. He said, turn back, go and tell the king that he will not die, that I have added 15 years to his days because he prayed and isaiah went to Ezekiah and said look you won't die again and he gave him the sign you see prophecy can come to you if it is negative you need to pray if you pray god can change the prophecy you see even when you look at the book of first samuel chapter 1 verse 6 the bible talks about one woman called anna the mother of samuel the Bible says she was barren and that God had shut her womb. God himself shut the womb of Hannah. But you see, Hannah knew what to do. Hannah went to pray. You see, no matter the prophecy anybody delivered to you, if it is negative, if you don't like it, if that prophecy is a prophecy of doom, you can do something about it. You can pray about it. So many places in the Bible, negative prophecies were met with prayers and they were changed. Prayer can change any prophecy that anybody gives to you if you don't like it. And this is one of the reasons why some people say, the prophet prophesied to me that I will buy a car in 2017. This is 2019, I don't have a car. Sometimes it's not that that prophecy is wrong. Because when you receive a good prophecy, the devil goes to work to block your prophecy. 
When you receive a good prophecy, you need to do something about that good prophecy. You need to pray it. Prayer is the power that activates good prophecies. If you don't pray about good prophecies, there are forces of wickedness that wants to block that prophecy to make sure it does not come to pass. But when you pray, you can pray that good prophecy to come to pass in your life. I want you to notice that. You see, when God told Abraham, Abraham offered a sacrifice to God and God came in the midst of the sacrifice and said to Abraham, look, your descendants shall go to Egypt and they shall be in bondage for 400 years. That was a prophecy, 400 years. That was what God said. But you see, when the people of Egypt, the Israel got to Egypt, they spent 430 years. There was an extra 30 years that the devil orchestrated. The devil delayed that prophecy for 30 years. And the people of Israel left Egypt when it was exactly 430 years. 30 years was added to their suffering because nobody could pray. Let me tell you, if you don't pray, your prophecy may be delayed. You need to understand the principle of prophecy. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 36, I think it's verse 37, God said, all these prophecies, for them to come to pass, you need to ask me. You need to pray. You need to intercede for me to do it. Understand the spirit of prophecy. Understand that when prophecy comes, if you don't like it, you can change it by prayer. If you like it, you can activate it by prayer. Don't leave prophecy lying low. If you do nothing about prophecy, sometimes it, nothing may happen. And that's why when you receive prophecy, if it is good, activate it by prayer. If it is bad, destroy it by prayer and change it in your prayer and say no this is not gonna happen and it will not happen this is the word this morning that god gave me to give to you listen to this message listen again let it bless you let it influence you let it change you because it's got power to change your destiny listen to it again because every prophecy is potentially you know is every good prophecy can only come to pass when you pray it to come to pass. And when it is bad, you can stop it. Thank you so much for listening. I'd like you to rebroadcast this to people. Get somebody blessed. And I know God will bless you for doing that. It is well with your soul. Once again, this is Joseph Adenunga, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem Free State, South Africa, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed. <laughs>